Oh, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Did you know that you are drastically damaging your skin without realizing? In today's vlog, I'm going to be giving you seven different ways that you have been damaging your skin without knowing. And uh, these mistakes have probably damaged your skin through causing uh, skin infections, premature aging, skin irritation, and enlarged pores. About 85% of people do at least one of these mistakes. So I'm going to be telling them to you so that you can avoid them. I want to help you highlight out those particular mistakes so that you can easily take care of your skin and at the end of the day it flourishes. First thing is drinking a lot of sugarly drinks and probably a lot of sugary foods. So if you don't know this, sugarly foods they equate to glucose when they enter into our body systems or our blood, uh, bloodstream generally. And what glucose is known of, it is to lead to inflammation. Remember that uh, the f our facial skin also is partly made up of different cells that do require this glucose to survive, to make energy. So when there is a lot of different glucose within the circulation and there is a lot of glucose that is supplied to those different uh, you know, cells around the face, chances are very high that they might lead to breakout and chances are very high that inflammation might occur. The second thing is picking at your skin or literally busting pimples. As that habit, actually, I think that I've been with it for some good time, but no more because I have realized that whenever I do prick a particular, you know, pimple or whenever I do bust a particular pimple, it actually leaves me with scars. And those scars, when they are healing, probably most of the time they leave those pits within my skin. If you are very curious, you'll be able to see the recent one this one going on over here which i did bust or prick and it did leave me with this cut like appearance you guys you should leave the pimple actually to grow or outgrow itself so that when it is ready it is easier for it to be popped or pricked but do not temper to do it especially when it is still in it in its early stages because it will just leave you with permanent scars and probably some pitted facial appearance outlook the third one guys is increased rubbing of your skin especially during skincare i'm also guilty of this particular mistake i used to do it a lot and a lot but not anymore because i did realize that the more i did do that especially when i have my cleansers on and i go on harshly you know to wash the crevices of my face but in a very very rough way at the end of the day i'm actually creating a you know a reaction between the cleanser i'm using or any product i'm using with my soft facial skin and at the end of the day that can lead to skin irritation it can also prompt premature aging and it can also lead to enlargement of the different powers so i would advise that if possible there are a lot of different sponges currently which are in circulation which you can use to you know to go in smoothly to wash out your face in the morning and in the evening you can also use your hands but you have to make sure that you are gentle because the skin we have around our faces is completely uh soft and very delicate skin compared to the skin we have at the back of our hands and anywhere on our body not washing your beauty blenders and your makeup brushes guys this is also a very common mistake especially when it comes to uh, people who claim that they don't have time or people who are perpetual procrastinators at the end of the day you are going to continue getting different breakouts after breakouts uh, without actually tracing the main cause of those particular breakouts but the reason is if you have been using a particular brush or beauty blender for more than one week and it has not been washed chances are very high that there is a build up of bacteria on that particular uh, brush or beauty blender so when in the morning or evening you go to wash your face very well then after that you get a dirty beauty blender put it on your skin you are introducing germs and infections onto your skin which can lead to skin irritation and skin infection so make sure that at least you wash your brushes once in a week that is how much i would recommend and also you change occasionally your beauty blenders don't use one beauty blender for over six months 
be recycling them. The fifth one I want to talk about is sleeping in makeup, especially if a person has made it a routine to every day sleep in their makeup. I'm going to be telling you in a bit what does what that does to our skins, but uh, I'm not talking about also this particular one time that you have, you know, you have been out and you are back and you are tired or you are drunk and you just sleep in your makeup. I'm talking about people who occasionally do sleep in their makeup. So this, it actually damages your skin more than what you think. Remember that at night, that is when our skins are free and the pores are open. We are sweating more. So this makeup actually sinks deeper into these particular pores and, and generally the cells, the facial cells, which in return can lead to very, very huge skin irritation, premature aging and wrinkles and skin irritation. So make sure that you don't sleep in your makeup as, uh, as much as you can. There are a lot of different things that you can use to get off your makeup, especially at night when you feel like you don't have the energy to go in to do the whole of your skincare routine. There is the Neutrogena uh, wipes. There are a lot of different baby wipes on market which actually are very, very good and recommended by a lot of different satisfied people. You can always use those to get off all your makeup so that you don't create chances of uh, skin damage. The seventh one is not sticking to a particular skincare routine and only starting your skincare routine when you actually have a breakout or a particular skin concern. What guys that will do to your skin is uh, it will cause increased chances of skin damage and probably skin irritation. Also enlargement of your pores which can in turn lead to wrinkles and premature aging. Bonus point is that make it a point that at least once in a while you do change your pillowcases and probably also your bed sheets. This will help you a lot to prevent any accumulation of bacteria because remember that at the end of the day you put your head onto your pillow and every other night that's what you are doing and as I talked about earlier at night or when we are sleeping we probably produce a little bit much more sweat and literally accumulation of sweat it creates high chances or a good environment for growth of bacteria so when you are sleeping onto the same pillow same pillow same pillow over time without having the pillowcase washed even though you clean your face before you sleep you are again introducing other infections as you sleep on that dirty pillow the same thing applies to your bed sheets thank you very much guys for watching today's vlog let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below in case you have any other information how we can literally promote our skincare routines and probably avoid different mistakes let us know in the comment section below and also if you know of any other mistake i've not talked about when it comes to skincare and skincare routines also leave it in the comment section below uh, i wish you all the best i just hope that you have learned or picked up one or two of the different mistakes and probably you align them into you know the best practices that you can probably do bye for now